Post is a phenomenal app, but for the purposes of this review, we're going to focus more on the reading list function. A lot of people don't realize that Post lets you uh, tap the little star icon in the bottom, and that saves it to your reading list that you can access at any time on any device. But you can also do that online with the Post.me account and a bookmarklet for Chrome or Firefox. So if I see an article and I want to read it later, all I have to do is tap the little Post icon, and it'll appear later when I go to a Post on my phone or on my tablet. Uh, a great advantage that this app has is that it also does a very good job with importing media. It brings in the, the top photos, uh, but unlike some other apps, it can also bring in video. This is a video that was embedded in a Deadspin article. I can play it within the app. Uh, I can also change the style and the appearance of the app. It's very simple. I can switch between light and dark mode, uh, serif or sans serif fonts, and if I want to adjust the size of the font, all I have to do is move the little bar left or right. Now, a drawback to Pulse is that uh, as a reading list manager, it comes up short in a little areas. For instance, if I unstar this article, it, it removes it from my list completely. Uh, it doesn't uh, let me make, mark it as a favorite or it doesn't put it in an archive. It's just either in or out. That's one drawback to the app. Uh, a positive thing is that you can share articles easily. I can post to Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Plus. It'll post a post, uh, post a post link, uh, which strips out all the unnecessary content. Uh, now, the difference between this app and most apps is that uh, I can all of them open in browser, but unlike while the other ones force you to go and get content, Post kind of brings it to you. Uh, it's short in some areas, but excels in others, so it's a give and take. Uh, one great thing is that you can set your data usage to only download on Wi-Fi, download uh, for offline use. I can change the update frequency from every one hour, three hours, six hours, or daily. Post is available for free, and it's a really great app on its own. And if you want to just have all of your content in one place, you don't want to have to have a reading list and a feed reader separately, this is a great thing to have, and this is the app for you.